good day everyone. My name is Betty Mayu Hernandez, first year college from BSN1B. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you the skin, hair, and nails assessment. But before that, I'm going to introduce myself to the patient. So good day ma'am. My name is Betty Mayu Hernandez, um, your student nurse for today. I'm going to assess your skin, hair, and nails assessment. So next, we need to verify my client. Uh, by asking their name and age. So, ma'am, what is your name? My name is Vanessa J. Hernandez. Uh, what is your age po? 17. <coughs> okay. So, next, we will assemble the equipments and the things that we will be needing. First is a millimeter ruler, a magnifying glass, a flashlight or the pen, um, and then disposable gloves and disinfectant alcohol if necessary only so next i will next we need to proceed to our procedure explain to the client what we're going to do why it is necessary and how he or she can cooperate so the rationale is for the patient awareness in what we're going to do in the whole procedure so good day ma'am um for today i'm going to assess your skin hair and nails assessment so next, we need to do the wash hands and hand hygiene or observe other infection control procedure. So the rationale is for us to avoid the spreading of microorganisms or the cross contaminations among patients or clients or vice versa. So next, we need to provide for client privacy and place our client in its appropriate position which is sitting position. So the rationale is for the patient to be comfortable in the whole procedure that we will be doing. For example, in the client privacy, um, close the curtains, um, and if you're in the examination room, close the door. So now I'm going to ask some history of my patient. So good day, ma'am. May I ask some questions? Yes. Um, nagkaroon na po ba kayo ng pangangati sa inyong katawan sa kahit anong party po ng inyong katawan? No, not yet. Um, na-experience na po ba magkaroon ng allergies or skin moisture? No. Nagkaroon, um, madali po ba kayong masagatan sa kahit anong party ng inyong katawan? No. Now, I need to document all the data that I gathered based on my patient. So now I will I will assess my patient skin color. So first I will check the skin color of my patient and the uniformity of her skin color. So based on my client's skin color, it is light brown. color it is light brown so after checking the skin color of my patient now we will proceed in checking the checking the body temperature by palpating her arms and feet On my client temperature, it is normal and nothing to worry. So now we will document. So after checking the body temperature of my patient, we will proceed in checking the if there are any leisure abrasion, pigmented spot, or bruises that we will see. Based on my client, there are any leisure abrasion, any pigmented, pigmented spot, and bruises detected. 
check if there are, there are any presence of edema in our patient. But if there are any presence of dilemma, um, we will determine the location, the color, the shape, and which degree edema is intended, intended pressed by the finger. So that's how I assess to you the skin of our patient. And now we will proceed in assessing the hair of our patient. So before we start, I need to ask some of questions based on the hair of the patient. So, ma'am, can I ask some questions based on your hair? Yes. Um, <coughs> natry niyo na po bang magpakulay ng buhok? Hindi po. Um, nagpakulot po? No. Um, nagpa-straight po or revive? No. Um, na-experience niyo na po ba yung paglalagas ng buhok? No, not yet. Or pagkakaroon po ng balakubak, dandruff, ganun po? No. Um, so, last question na po, ma'am. Um, Na-experience nyo na po ba magka-infection or disease sa inyong buhok? No. So, after asking some history, now we will proceed in assessing the hair. Um, ma'am, can I touch your hair po and can <coughs> kindly remove your ponytail? Um, so, based on my client's hair, um, normal and pantay naman yung pagtubo ng kanyang buho. There are, hindi siya oily and thick naman siya. There are no, there are no infection detected. Wala rin dandruff. And it is healthy. And So, after checking my client's hair, we need to document all the data that we've gathered so it is oily um it is healthy there are no done jobs infection control infections um thick and no any infection detected which is good based on my observation so that's how I assess to you the hair of our patient. Now we will proceed in assessing the nails of our patient by first asking some questions related to the nails. So now ma'am, I'm going to ask you some questions that related in your nails. Um, so na nagkaroon na po ba kayo ng history ng diabetes? No. Um, na experience na po ba magkaroon ng severe illnesses? No. Or any infection or disease na related po sa inyong nails? Not yet. Um, na experience niyo na po ba magpa-manicure or pedicure? No. Okay. So after that, we need to assess the um client's nail by touching it and palpating it. So, ang curvature po ng nails nyo is convex and yung angle po is 160 degree. And next naman po ay si papalpate ko po yung um, nails nyo para po ma-check po natin yung kanyang texture and temperature. So, normal naman po yung nails nyo and healthy. Um, wala naman po any problems detected. And yung kanya naman po tissue surrounding nails po is okay naman po siya and walang problema. And yung color po ng nails niya is pinkish. So wala naman po problema na detected. So now we need to document the data that we've gathered in our patient. So that's how I that demonstrate to you the skin, hair, and nails assessment. 